you close your eyes. E aí galera, Renan aqui do canal Maquilândia com vocês mais uma vez E dessa vez vamos trazer a nossa continuação da nossa série de Fallout 4 Bom, retomando a linha aí, nós tivemos que voltar a Diamond City Nós temos que falar com a Piper, eu acho que a Piper tá aqui dentro para ver o que, que a gente consegue de informações a respeito do nosso filho E... Oh, hey, Piper. Hey, Nikki. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. You need help, Piper. This man named Kellogg kidnapped my son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He gave them Sean. The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. A man like that would have had access. In and out. But we both know that angle isn't going to work. Because he's in hell. Where he belongs. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. So, what now? Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. What exactly do we need, Nick? Kellogg's brain. It's a long shot, but Dr. Amari just might be able to get it jump-started. See what the old Merc knew. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Me, Nick. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're going to get your boy back. Just a few more steps. While you two are out, I'm going to do some more research. I'll be here if you need me. Vamos ver se a gente consegue dar baixa nesse cara. E lá vem ele. Vamos ver se a gente acerta. Oh my god. Nossa. Caraca, ele foi tipo um quinto da vida dele. É uma ogiva nuclear, cara. Mais um E ele continua vindo Sai da frente Nossa Caraca, a gente tomou 
tudo agora. Ah. Olha o tamanho da criança. Ele é rápido ainda. Caraca. Nick, ajuda, Nick. Ih, ele bugou ali. Toma, amigão. Terceiro missão de viagem, você. Olha, ele levou uma pedrada na cabeça pra ficar ligeiro. Isso aqui vai ser um acerto crítico de um míssil nuclear na cabeça do cidadão. Já é. De todos os missões que a gente entrou no jogo até agora, a gente usou pra dar baixa nesse carinha. Pronto. Olha lá o Nick sentadão lá, curtindo a vida numa boa. Conseguimos aí, matamos o Swag. Opa, é uma cidadezinha. Vamos guardar as armas. Vamos procurar aqui. Cadê o Nick, Nick? You can't go walking around without insurance. Insurance? I'm listening. That's right. Olha, o que você tem a dizer? Insurance. Personal protection, like. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. Oh, muito obrigado. Let him go. Soft Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on. Man, this is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Why'd you have to go and oh, see that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Caraca, o Capitão yeah, Pirata right, aqui, hein? Fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Good neighbor? That what you call this place? That's right. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. You'll see. You make enough friends here, you'll call this place home soon enough. So long as you remember who's in charge. Tchau, pirata. Por que um cara careca tem um grampo de cabelo? Hancock. E agora ele fica transparente, desaparece, isso é muito bacana. São superpoderes os personagens do mundo de Fallout. Nossa, tem necrótico pra tudo que é lado aqui. Tá bom, tá bom. Vou ficar sem minha roupa. Ah, até que foi rápido. You're the one who can extract memories from a brain, right? Normally we only allow our clients to experience their own memories. Now what's this all about? We need a deep dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. 
All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old unique. grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see you. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Bom, vamos conectar os nossos cérebros então e vamos lá. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We are going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Estrada de neurônios. Patrões alguém. Hello. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Uh, a gente está vendo a mente do Dad Kellogg. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the Raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. I found another memory. And you I'll connect you. weren't there to help them. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Mr. Hallow, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm 
working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B748. Initiate. Ele já tá mais velho, tá com essa espada. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of brain here. Opa, tem mais, tem mais, tem mais. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Uh, é a Vault. É agora. Cryogenic stasis. Suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. É, foi a hora que você pegou meu filho, né? Cadê? Eu devo estar aqui. Não. Aí, olha lá. Eu sou agora o Instituto's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. The eggheads never liked taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me, and I made sure they knew it. Olha lá, olha a gente ali. Is it over? Are we okay? Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come here. Wait. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on. Alright, we're good. I'm, ah, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. Ele levou nosso filho e eu levou ele na casinha dele. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Nosso filho. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Oh, e agora já temos as informações. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. 
Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Eita, quem é você? É o Blade. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Names Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads oh, wow. roll for this. Capture and return or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688, ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Ah, que bonzinho. Eita! Caraca, o bicho teleporte. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? I'm okay, doctor. Me sinto you. bem. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. Meu filho também. You have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Kellogg's life. The man who ruined my family. The man I killed. That's right. He was a human being just like the rest of us. And he had reasons for being what he was. However cruel. How does that make you feel? It's convinced me that I did the right thing. He was a rabid dog. And he needed to be put down. I suppose... I can't fault you for that. We are getting off track. The important thing is that we discovered the Institute's greatest secret, teleportation. The only question is, what do we do now? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the Glowing Sea for a reason. How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radax, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor. That would be perfect. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Muito obrigado, você ajudou bastante. Foi legal brincar aí no seu sisteminha de realidade virtual. E é isso aí galera, nossa próxima missão é ir para o Mar Reluzente Eu não sei exatamente o que é isso, mas deve ser um lugar com muita, 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 já falei muita, radiação O link deve estar por aqui, mas a gente vai saindo aqui, nossa gameplay de hoje vai ficando por aqui Galera, não deixe de acompanhar as outras séries no canal Se vocês puderem, dar aquele tapão no like, se ainda não for inscrito, se inscreva Tem muita coisa lá legal, vocês vão ver Muito obrigado por ter assistido o vídeo mais uma vez E lembre-se, vocês são OP